Here I go, here I go, here I go. Yeah, here I go, here I go, here I go. Before we get into today's episode of the pod, you guys have to subscribe because I'm looking at you and you're not subscribed to the channel yet. And you have to hit the notification bell because you're not going to know when I post if you don't have notifications when I post. Make sure to like the video, you guys, so I know you guys are enjoying these episodes. Make sure to follow my social medias. I will pop them on the screen so you can stay up to date with everything to do with this podcast. And then don't forget to check out the Spotify version. The link will be in the description for that as well. Finally, I am a sports writer, so make sure to check out the take.sport.blog so you can read the best sports articles ever. You will not regret clicking that link. So make sure to click that link below. But let's go ahead and get into the today's pod, you guys. All right. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Take Podcast. I'm your host, Jackson Burleson, of course. In today's episode, I got my boy, Nick Victor, joining me on the podcast for my fourth so, UFC Boxing Talk episode. I appreciate you hopping on the pod, dude. It's going to be fun. Yeah, no, it's going to be a fun one, man. Thank you for having me, dude. It's It's going to be great. It's going to be great, bro. It's going to be great. Speaking of great, dude, we got we got to talk about the biggest fight in combat sports right now. Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou, October 28th in Saudi Arabia. Clash of Titans is the way I would like to put it, but we all know Francis has the nuclear bomb with his right hand. But does he have any chance against Tyson Fury? Any chance? Man, dude, I, I hate to bring him up into this, but I'm going to bring Jake Paul up into this. I'm going to bring him up. Jake Paul, the moment that he knocked out Tyron Woodley, I was like, oh, MMA fighters can't hang. They can't. No, no, no. What else? If, like, okay, so let's just say this. Let's just say this. Ben Askren, right? Ben Askren, he was... It was cool, but like we didn't, yeah, they can't really fight like that. So it's like, yeah, no, he's a great wrestler. He can't really fight. Jake Paul knocked, he, he knocked him out, right? But then we saw Woodley, a, a world champion UFC guy, put up a good fight against Jake. Jake, Jake, he cleaned him up first, first match. Got to the yeah, second was match. The, was at the second fight. Second fight, Jake, he didn't clean him up. It wasn't a knockout. It wasn't a, it wasn't he knocked him down. He didn't beat him. He flatlined him. He flatlined him. <laughs> we're, just, no, we're, talking, we're talking flatline. So that was the moment when I realized MMA fighters can't hang with. Now, okay, if Jake Paul's doing that to world champs, what in the world is Tyson Fury going to do? But the but the equal I feel like I noticed that right when McGregor and Mayweather had their boxing match because that was the first MMA boxing crossover ever. True. So True. when McGregor wasn't really conditioned like you you could tell like i, I actually rewatched the fight yesterday but in the sixth round like mcgregor just was kind of you could tell he was getting more tired like round six yeah. and like you could tell his conditioning wasn't the same and tyson fury this dude is a heavyweight he's six nine he's ginormous i know he's got all that fat on him but he moves like he, a middleweight like he, he is quick on his feet like i don't know great francis I don't know how Francis is going to hit him. Like, if Francis does hit him, it's going to be lethal. But and, I just and, don't know how yeah. he will. And that's the thing. And that's the thing. Francis, does he have – Francis pretty much just has a puncher's chance. He's, he- he's going to be heavy chance. on his feet. He's going to be heavy on his feet. Oh, yeah, 1,000. Like, will Francis – most likely will he land on him? No. But if he does – if he does, then that's that, we, uh, yeah, we got a we got a fight on our hands here. That's that's a major <laughs> problem. I I think if Francis if he's gonna win, it's gonna be within. It's gotta two be rounds. early. It's, it's gotta, gotta be, early. be early. It has it's to be early. Be. That's his only chance. Same with that's McGregor. His only when McGregor fought Mayweather, his only chance to win was his first three rounds mm-hmm. to come out of the gate punching because those guys they have the stamina to go for five six rounds, but. Like twelve, not twelve. Like, yeah, not but this 12. this fight's supposed to be ten rounds though, so they don't have to go all the way to twelve. Oh, this one's going ten. Yeah, it's going ten rounds. Okay, uh, it's um, actually a professional bout. So Fury's 
record is going to be on the line, but his belt isn't going to be on the line, which honestly, I kind of wish his belt was on the line. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. It would be yeah. a little more or higher stakes for Fury instead of just yeah, no. losing and he's still the champ. Like that's not Yeah, no, it would hype it up. It would hype it up. Yeah, that'd be a title uh, fight. That'd be, that'd no, be the exactly. first title fight ever. You're giving an MMA guy a chance at winning a boxing world title. It like should, it should be a title fight. I just um Fury, I don't, you know, after he beat Wilder, I mean Fury even said it. He's not really about this boxing life anymore. I'll be honest with you. Like, he's not. Well, he retired after his fight. After Wilder? (laughs) Yeah, he retired after that fight. And then I thought he was actually done. And then he came back and he was like, yeah, like, I think I got a little bit more left. He he, he fought Dillian White. He was trying to fight Usyk, but I think he was – was Tyson Fury ducking Usyk? No, 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 no. He's ducking Usyk. No, if he – no, he's ducking Usyk, like – if he wanted to fight Usyk, like Usyk, he agreed to taking 30% of the pay-per-view. Tyson takes 70. Tyson wanted a rematch clause. That's why the contract didn't get done. He wanted, I mean, from what I heard, I heard Usyk agreed to everything. Literally everything. And That's what I heard, like, but Tyson didn't agree to everything. That exactly, was and Tyson was just like, eh, you know what? <laughs> like, dude, like, you gotta, you gotta, I wanna, you gotta give him some line here. I mean, you gotta... I mean, when you're when fighters are negotiating contracts, like not everyone's going to be on the same page, but there's some things you need to compromise on to make big fights happen. Like it's just oh, yeah. the, no, no. for the I business. Mean, I mean, do I think Usyk should take more than thirty percent, one thousand? But uh, but he accepted to it, and Tyson won't even do that. So it's like <laughs> I think Tyson. <laughs> like I'm just like Tyson. He does not really want to push fight. himself. I guess. He doesn't it, want to play Usyk, and and hot take. I think Usyk beats him, but that's just a hot take. Woo! I mean, I've take. heard that. I've heard that too, but it's like the size difference for me. Like, I, Fury's just so much bigger than Usyk, so I I don't think Fury would have a problem with him. To be I honest. think Fury. I think Fury. If you wanted to take on Usyk, you would have to knock him out. But if it went to points, Usyk. I think he could up. though. He's got he the reach. Could. He could, but I think if it goes to points, like if you're just like Usyk, he's not going to try to. He did the same thing with Joshua. He's not going to try to knock him out. But like if it just goes to points, oh, Usyk's going to molly whop that boy. It's going to be unanimous decision. <laughs> Easy work. So Easy are you work. taking Tyson Fury over Francis Ngannou? Is that your? That's your prediction? Yeah, for that? yeah, easy. It's going to be easy work. He's I'm thinking gonna, the same thing too. I'm thinking the he, same thing. He's going to play with them like early rounds, mid round. He's he's just going to toy with the kid, and then he's going to finish him off. I'd say it's going ten rounds, right? Yeah, ten rounds. So I mean, I say by round nine. I say by round nine, it's going to be TKO. He's not going to completely. He's going to. He's not going to completely knock him out, but it's going to be a TKO. Francis is going to be hard to knock out, though. He's a massive dude. He's a huge human being. Yeah, he, he is. A, he is. He, he is. doesn't. He doesn't like the thing with Francis is like he always like if he's in trouble, he has the nuclear option. He can go to it at any point. Can kind of. Mm-hmm. It can kind of save him whenever he wants it. Yeah. Very true. Very true. I just think. But it's, it's MMA versus um, boxing. Yeah. I mean, completely different sports. I mean, we've seen how it's worked out in the past. And, like, if you're just throwing straight hands, like, Francis is going to be exhausted. Yeah. Like, uh, his conditioning can only get to a certain point. Like, it's – Exactly. I, I mean, we've seen Jake Paul against world champs. Just imagine what Tyson Fury, who's a world champ himself in boxing, is going to do to him. <laughs> like, no, like, it's going to be – I got – um. It's going to be a stop. He's not going to knock him out. It's just going to be a TKO. Ref's going to stop it. Round nine, I would say. I think it's crazy that you're comparing this fight to Jake Paul, though. I, th- I think you need to yeah. ease the brakes no. on that a little bit. No, no, no. No, no. I mean, it's facts, though. Like, Jake Paul's knocking out. I mean, Jake, he, he knocked down Anderson Silva the best. Yeah, when he's 50 striker. years old. <laughs> and no, no, exactly. No, no, I'm saying, but, the, but like – Francis, he has a lot of power. He's exactly like to Tyron Woodley. He has a lot of power, but he doesn't. He's, he's not, not a boxer. The same he's not a boxer. Striker. He's not the same level of striker. That's Anderson. the thing with um. Let's let's okay. Let's segue into Jake Paul for a second here. Is Jake All Paul right. a boxer? Is he a boxer? Is he a legit he is. boxer? I would say yes. I would. 
Because I we've talked off camera about how Tommy Fury is the worst boxer that he could possibly fight. You still stand yeah. on that? But at the same time, I mean, Tommy Fury, like, I mean, is Jake Paul a boxer? Yes. Yes, he is. Now, what level? Like, what type of level of boxer is he? Like, we He's a lower level him. boxer. I would say he's mid. I'd say he's mid. I'd say him and Tommy are mid. Who was that guy you were talking about that Tommy Fury doesn't want to fight? That's like trying to become a world champion. Oh, Vidal Riley? Yeah, yeah. No, he doesn't want to fight Vidal Riley. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Vidal Riley's really going to be – he's probably going to be a cruiserweight champ. He's he's looking to be a world champ. I mean, he trained, uh, he trained KSI for the KSI Logan fights. I mean – and I've seen Vidal Riley fight Tommy Fury. He doesn't want it. He, he wants no part of that. I've seen an interview with Tommy that uh, he wants to clean up the YouTube boxing world. He wants to beat yeah, that's, Kasai, that's and then he wants to beat Jake Paul right after. Like, it's dumb. Like, it's like Tommy. He wants to end him. Tommy, he looks like, I mean, it's, are you going to make the most money from it? Yeah. But if you're, he's calling himself like an actual boxer, you just look like a clown. You know the like, first guy he fought, what his record was? It was like 10 and 100 and something. Yeah, exactly. It was a horrible record. Like, that was like like his fourth fight, I'm pretty sure. Like, Tommy's a wannabe boxer. He's fighting like, comes coming up. No, exactly. He's a wannabe boxer. And then let's say, like, okay, put this into perspective. Jake, he's been boxing, let's say, four years. He was able to put up a fight against Tommy Fury. That's crazy to me, life. dude. Like, so, like, how bad are you? And I think it was just that <laughs> fight. <laughs> like, like, just that fight alone, they realized, like, oh, wait, my, like, John Fury, he realized, I, like, oh, my son's not going to be a world champ. <laughs> It's like when he not there's like, no there's no world where Tommy Fury is a world champion. No world. No, no, no shot at all. And if you <laughs> wanted to like if you wanted to prove something to people, he would fight Vidal Riley. But he won't because Vidal would clean him up in three rounds. You don't think if he beats KSI and Jake, he you don't think he would take that fight? Vidal? Yeah, you don't think Tommy would take that fight with him? Vidal could have, I mean, he could go another two, three years taking those type of YouTube fights. Hey, hey, he could fight Salt Poppy. He could take all those two, three years. He's still like, <laughs> going to fight Vidal because he knows what would happen. Vidal's going to clean him up in two, three rounds. Easy work. I just... It, when I when I was watching Tommy Fury and Jake, like I was very impressed with Jake's chin. First of all, he can take punches. Like oh, I yeah, he can take that. Down. I didn't know he could take punches like that, but he was getting hit a lot and yeah, he was still hanging in there. He but, was getting jabbed. He was getting but it's jabbed like, like I said this before too, like Jake did not have a real fight camp. Like he was training in Dubai for six weeks. Like Tommy had a full three month camp and Jake usually trains in Puerto Rico, which is why in this Nate Diaz fight, we're going to be seeing a different Jake Paul. Like Jake's going to knock him out. Me a lot bad. Like I feel bad for Nate Diaz, honestly. Like <laughs> I really do. Like like Nate Diaz. Like when he's in the press conferences, like he can barely even form a sentence. He's CT, how many yeah. times he's been fighting in the UFC? But it's like he's not a boxer. Once again, like I mean this this fight for Jake Paul doesn't really give him any credit. It, it doesn't in the do boxing anything. world. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Do anything. It's just a confidence booster for him. Like that's yeah, all. Yeah. Like. It's trying to get a bounce back win after a loss like that. And then he's going to go fight Tommy again, which I don't know if he beats him the second time around. He should be. I think he, I think, well, it's going to be a no, close no. fight again. I think, um, split decision. He lost by split decision. I mean, it's not like Tommy, yeah. like, absolutely, like, mopped the floor with him. Like, it, it, Tommy think, was crying after the fight and he beat him by split decision. I think Tommy was. Tommy was dominant. I wouldn't say mopped him up. Tommy was dominating. But then the fact that you got knocked down with the left hand. People call that a slip, quote unquote. It's not a slip. He just <laughs> knocked him down. I mean, Tommy, just let it go, brother. And it's just like, dude, now I'm saying, Jake, yeah, will he beat Nate? Jake will probably, he'll finish him off within five. But the big fight that I'm really waiting is KSI Tommy. That's that's the fight. 
for, for you guys n- not knowing like what Nick says about this fight, but styles make fights and styles KSI versus Tommy fights. Fury is a style makes fight kind of bout. It's the perfect way. KSI has an awkward stance. He fights awkward. You said Tommy is not going to know what to do with that. I don't think time is going to know. Like, I'm going to say first three rounds, time is going to be confused on what's going on. <laughs> He's going to be like, no, like KSI does the karate whole overhand right karate thing. He moves weird. He switches stances so fast. He's athletic. Tom, KSI could knock him out within three. I could be on it. I'm being brutally honest with you. He could. He could. If it goes distance, Tommy's got him. But if if anybody's gonna knock out, it's gonna be KSI. I'm gonna go ahead and clip that. That's insane. First of all, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> no, uh, you're, you're telling I, me KSI beats Tommy Fury? No chance. No chance. I think he knocks him out. No way. Within three. No. Wow. Within wow. Three. Oh my god, dude. That is crazy talk. I think he's so awkward, Tommy. I mean, I saw it with Joe Fournier. I mean, we can say Joe Fournier. Joe so. Fournier. Oh my but god. Like, but like, but like he he moves like a traditional boxer. I <sighs> think Joe Fournier and Tommy would at least go six, seven rounds. <laughs> I think Tommy would beat him. Well, he well that. he knocked him out, but like the elbow. Oh, he was gonna knock him. I mean, if, if the elbow didn't land, it, he was, it would have been a KO. Win, yeah, I mean, it would have been a KO. But I'm saying, I think KSI is so awkward. He's he's getting Tommy out within three. I'm I sorry. can't yeah. believe that fight's actually like coming to fruition. Like it's actually being closer and closer to like if that fight happens, it would probably be around like November. It's going to be October. It's going to be October. They, they gonna already be... released. Um, it's going to be October 18th. I think they've um they're already doing like dang the weekend before Nganu. oh man that'll be an interesting two weeks of of boxing dude i also another hot take i think um if ksi beats tommy i don't know if the jake fight happens what you don't think jake will fight ksi i don't think it'll happen i think it should happen at some point it should I think, but... I mean, they've been talking smack for the longest time to each other. Like, it should happen. I think Jake is going to be like... It'll probably happen, but I think Jake, he's going to have an oh shit moment if KSI knocks out Tommy. (laughs) Well, (laughs) he's going to be like, I didn't do that. So it's like... No, 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 no. He's going to be like, wait, KSI might not be a better boxer than me, but he's so awkward that he knocked out a guy that I couldn't even beat. And Jake is going to, he's going to be looking sideways. It's going to be like, uh, I don't know. But I, I think the fight would happen and it would happen in, uh, okay, let's say KSI knocks out Tommy. I think the fight happens in February, but if it doesn't happen, then I don't think they're going to fight. I'll be honest. I don't know who's next for Jake Paul. If it that, has to be KSI, if it has to be, if KSI, like, I can't Tommy. think of anyone in Jake's weight class that he would actually realistically go and fight. To be honest, I mean, who would he fight? Badu Jack? Like no, no. <laughs> like no. Um, who would he fight? Canelo? Dude, Jack one? Jack would mess him up, dude. He gets I mean, trained yeah. by Mike Tyson. I mean, Badu Jack. Badu Jack would finish him in in eye case. He was the co-main event of that card with uh, Jake and Tommy, and he looked so good. But, like, no. So, like, so when I'm talking about Vidal Riley, Vidal Riley's in that same weight class with Badu Jack. So he's at the same level. I'd say he's going up the same level as Badu Jack. So saying Tommy and Vidal, they're just just not the same. No, no. It's... It's it's something I could talk about all day, to be honest. Like I, I could go on and on and on about the influencer boxing or whatever. But <laughs> re- let's get back to real boxing. Errol oh, Spence nice. versus Terence Crawford, July 29th. That is coming up. That is the end of this month. I think Terence Crawford is going to knock out Errol Spence. I'm just going to put that out there. But Errol Spence, 
He's got those body shots. He fights up close. He's going to make it interesting, but I think Terrence Crawford's going to catch him with that left hook at some point, and he's just going to maul him with the right hand. I think, for me, I think Terrence Crawford, I think, gets too emotional in his fights. He wants to make, like, the minute that it turns into a dog fight, like, when I see, like, what I see from uh, Terrence Crawford, right? The minute that it turns into a dog fight, he's like, okay, I'm all in. Let's go dog fight. Let's go dog fight mode. But the thing that I see with Errol Spence, he can go into a dog fight, but he knows how to bring it back and then turn it into boxing. So I can see Errol Spence picking him apart a little bit. But at the same time, I don't think Errol Spence has been the same since the crash. I don't think he's been the same. Yeah, I was gonna, I was, I was gonna touch on that a little bit, but I, it is the, so. This is his first fight since the crash. No, 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 it's not his first. He fought um. He fought somebody, but he didn't look. He didn't look the same. He didn't look this like he was. He didn't guy. have that quickness that he. Um, I think it was. I think part of it was also ring rust. I think that was part of it, but he didn't look the same. Really. He didn't look like the Errol Spence that we've seen. Nah, uh, no. Nah. I, I think so, he'll be fine though in this. Yeah, fight. he'll be ready. He'll be ready. I think he'll be good to go. He's had a full camp. He'll be. He'll be ready to go. But it, it's. It's that definitely fight's a fight that's crazy. long overdue. Like it, this fight has been long overdue. Like, and that I was gonna segue into this too. Like, why has boxing gone away from making these big time fights? Like with these superstars. Like it's because so of the hard. because of the promoters. It, it all got messed up when um when so wait. I mean, you know Don King. Yeah, Don King. Yeah, I know yeah, Don no, It all got messed up when guys like him started taking over promotions. And now more people are worried about, like, the promoters. I'm not saying the boxers, but the promoters are more worried about the fighters and their records because that's how the promoters make their money. They make their money off the fighters. And it shouldn't really even be like that because, like, the fighters should be paying the promoters, not the promoters paying the fighters like that. So, I mean – promoters start getting worried about fighters keeping their records them all that um that's why we haven't really seen a great champ really besides floyd we haven't seen a really great champ since mike tyson let's be honest like a universal champ like that and mike tyson he got bit by the system by don king so it's all a business they want to make it more into a business than more like people okay, let's go in there and fight. Like, back in the day, if you got beef with someone like Ali Foreman, okay, let's run it. Yeah, run that. Easy, easy negotiations. They I don't like it. how there's so many belts in boxing, too. Like, I think there's that's, way too no, many belts. That's dumb. It's dumb. There's so many belts. Just stick with one belt for each weight class. That's it. Like, like you're either the like, champ or you're not. Like, you can't be a, a WBC or a IBF or whatever, all these – things are like exactly I, like it, it makes no sense like it, yeah like i don't get it else. like with ufc best. like it's it's simple like you it's got one belt. Champ, you got one champ one weight class you don't have four champions in one weight class like that it just doesn't make oh. sense no it doesn't that, i mean that's why literally jake paul literally said i could become a world champ because he could get whatever belt and you can declare well, he has more opportunity to get a belt like it's not like the exactly. ufc where you have like possibly like only one opportunity to get a belt like it, exactly it, your window is very small when in the ufc to get a belt mm -hmm. like you gotta be that you gotta be the top dog in your division like you can't be like the fourth or fifth best guy in your division but in boxing you can be and still have a belt which yeah, exactly no like, so it's but. like anybody can it's kind of like the same thing with like devin haney like devin haney holds all the belts but Gervonta Davis is considered the best guy. Yeah, he's the best. But he only has one belt. But it's he has the WBA. That's the only belt he has. But he's clearly the best fighter in that division. Which exactly. It's that the fight same needs thing that, that. I'm glad you brought that up. That fight needs to happen. Davis nah, versus Haney. That has to happen. I saw this thing. I saw this thing. You know, I think, I think Gervonta and Devin. Devin's gonna get hurt bad. Gervonta's gonna literally knock him out like he's gonna no 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 it's gonna be bad it's gonna get ugly haney just doesn't have that power like he he doesn't have that power at all like if in, he, against he, uh, in his last fight he just didn't really show it like yeah you know i mean loma haney 
I mean, but I, Lomachenko I was like piecing him up low key, like a low key. I thought Devin won the fight, but like Lomachenko was was, was like, making Loma it interesting. Lova was giving him a run for his money. I thought he uh, won the fight, honestly. You could, yeah, no, you could go either way. It just depends on how you score it, really. Um, but no, 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 no. Devin doesn't want to fight Javante. He doesn't want to do that. It, doesn't want to it, that. It, it, I think it'll happen, though. I think it'll happen, though. The because fight I want to talk trash. Like, he, he thinks he's the top dog of the division. No, no, no. He's not. I, a personal opinion, I think Ryan Garcia beats Devin. Wow. Have you seen um, Ryan Garcia's uh, new trainer? Like, how he's changing his stance and everything? Like, He's got Ryan like guarding he's up. Turning into, he's like, turning he's not into open a, at all anymore. He's turning into a legit high level boxer. Ryan. I felt like he's, Ryan was kind of an influencer slash boxer, but like then he fought Gervonta and we saw like the talent was obviously there. There are levels. Like, he just like whenever he would throw that left hook, like his face was just wide open. I mean, you could just Gervonta could counter punch that very easily, and that's why he lost is because Gervonta knows how to sit and counter punch, which is what makes him so exactly, great. Exactly. Exactly. Gervonta, like Ryan, he's so dependent on that left hook. If it doesn't work, he's, he's going to get out. Yeah, if that thing doesn't land. Box. Like what else does he go to? Exactly. So that's why I feel like with the new boxer that he, well, with the new trainer that he's with now, it's good for him because he's actually learning. Like he can learn, um, Fundamental yeah. skills yeah, fundamental. That you need to have, like and defense too. Like Ryan never really protected himself that much. Like now he can learn how to set up himself. shots. Yeah, he can, he can set, set up. up like, shots, he can learn how to bait people too. Like baiting people is important in boxing. Exactly. Like being able exactly. to sit here with your guard up and just let somebody just keep swinging away, and then you just land that one punch, like. That's what makes you lethal at the end of the day. And that's the difference exactly. between champions and non-champions in boxing. Yeah man. yeah, man. I mean, it just looked like, I mean, Gervonta put up a clinic against him. Yeah, it was just. That liver nah. shot he landed was crazy. His like, nose bled. Yeah. His nose bled after <laughs> that shot. That's internal bleeding. Yeah, that's insane. Like, <laughs> like that's when I first lead. saw it, when I first saw it, I was like, "Dang, Ryan just gave up." But then when you go back and watch it, like you see how clean of a liver shot that was, and it just took a second for it to actually sink in, and his it'd be like, nose, oh, "That hurts!" Like, and then when it sunk in, his nose started bleeding. Yeah, and he no, took a knee nah, right then. Nah. It's just like the fight was over, and I was like, "What happened?" Like, it happened nah. so quick. It's like in the moment when you're watching it, you don't know what happened. Nah, man. I, I think I think Ryan, now that he's learning really how because after that fight, he realized that there are levels to this. There are levels to this. So then Ryan, he he wanted to go get a new trainer. He wanted to go get a new trainer. Now he's learning really, like, really how to compete at that level. And like I think his next fight is gonna be against Roley. I think he knocks Can't Roley. take on that fight. I'm I'm s i am i was actually gonna bring that up. Roley's a clown. Hey, Roley's got some work to do. He has he's a horrible clown. form. He has he almost, horrible form. He he, his last fight, he wait, he fought that 44-year-old guy and then he almost got beat up by won. an old man. He almost lost. <laughs> you know, he almost lost to a grandpa. Like Roly, he's a clown. Um Ryan's gonna it, knock It's him just out. like he needs to like he doesn't when you watch him like train, like He's punching with his arm. He's not using his legs at all. Like nothing. It's his power comes from his arm. Like, yeah, he's fast, but like we saw when he fought Javante Davis, like, <laughs> like how bad of a boxer he truly is. Like, no, 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 no. To be fair to Roley, but it's just Javante baiting him. Roley was winning the fight before Javante knocked him. But like the reason why he was winning the fight is because Javante was just timing him. But and that's what I was saying earlier. Like, you got a guy sitting there baiting you, and then he's just going to land that one punch. Like, that's exactly what Javante did. Exactly. Javante was probably just looking there. He was like, you saw Roley's moves. He was just laughing. He was like, okay, yeah, he's coming here. He's coming there. Then, yeah, I'm just going to I'm just gonna land that. Like, Roley is so on. crazy flat-footed. Like, it's not even funny. He's He looks unathletic when he boxes. It, it, it's it's crazy I, like who trains him like he needs to get new trainers like i don't that. know i don't know the one thing i'll give troll though he started boxing when he was 17 so he doesn't 
he's late to the game. But like, oh, come on, no, that's not, don't use that. I, no, 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 no. I'll get, no, I'll give him that. But after that, dude, I mean, Roly, he. I wouldn't even give him that. Jake Paul was in boxing that. when he was 17. He was on Disney no, Channel. No, 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 Jake, I mean, to be to even rebuttal, my, <laughs> Jake Paul got into boxing when he was like 22 years and old. And I think Jake so Paul has like, a better form than Roley does. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. He does. It's just, it's just like what kind of trainers you surround yourself with. Like we saw Jake Paul, he got completely new trainers after that Tommy fight. And apparently he's completely... Jake Paul's looking nice now, apparently. Have you seen him hit the mitts? Like he's, I mean, yeah, he's faster, he's sharper. I need to see him. I need to see him in the fight, though. I but I feel like anyone fight. can look good hitting the mitts, though. Like it's Dog, like you, any guy can look good hitting mitts. If you hit mitts for, let's say, like a week, you're gonna get good at mitts. Like I mean, you just gotta learn the combination. If you just learn the combination within a week, yeah, you could look great at mitts, but you still don't know how to fight. So yeah, it's. It's going to be that's going to that's going to be an interesting fight though. Arrow Spence Terence Crawford. Uh, I think Terence is going to win, but that's Terence, I mean, are you taking Spence on that one? I feel like you would want to take Spence. I'm taking Spence. I'm taking <laughs> Spence. I am. Yeah, 1000. I think Spence wins though. To 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 Crawford's defense, if Spence wins, it's going to go to decision, but if Crawford wins, he's going to knock him out. Yeah, Crawford's gonna have to knock him out. I think Spence, um, Spence is gonna get him by decision. And you know what? Hot take. I think it's gonna be a trilogy. You you, you think they're gonna fight two more times after this? Yeah, no, nah, because I think there's no one else for these guys to fight in their division. To be fair, no. Nah, I mean, if they want to make the most money, and I think they're looking to make the most money out of it, there's gonna be a trilogy. Um, as long as the fights are close. As long as they're close, like let's say, yeah, but if fight, it's like a blowout knockout early yeah. on, there's no point in making that fight. Yeah, yeah, pack that away, pack that away. But I think, um, if the fights are close, I, I think we'd be looking at a trilogy. I think we could be. We, we could be, we, we could be possibly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tri yeah. Trilogy fights are kind of, kind of hard to come by though. And they opinion. are the like last one and often. And Mr. Robert Whitaker. He missed out on his opportunity to have a trilogy fight with Israel. And now yeah. Israel's got Duplicius <laughs> next. That's going to be a fight. I, that's going to be a crazy press conference, too. Dupli oh, man. That's I can't wait for that. <laughs> no, nah, man. No, nah, man. I feel bad for Duplicius. He's just not. First of all, is he the same level as Izzy? No. Second of all, he pissed Izzy off. You don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't want to do that man yeah it's, so I, it's it's like it's like at the same time like is he like has proven to be the best guy in that division by a long shot like there's no one that's better than him so it's like yeah. if he were to go fight Whitaker again we already know what's gonna happen oh, yeah. but gonna this is a new but this is a new guy like there's a little bit of uncertainty in the air so it, it kind of makes sense money wise and for both fighters but it makes for an interesting fight which is why yeah. I'm for it. you know what you know my dream fight i wish i would have saw well before he moved up to heavyweight i wish i wanted to see john jones against izzy at 205 if john jones didn't gain that weight oh my I, that would have been a crazy fight i think john mauls him to be honest because we saw um, Izzy go up to light heavyweight against Jan Bohovic, and like Izzy's not really built for that weight class. Like he no, is, he, his his frame is built perfectly for middleweight. Like yeah, no, yeah, he's a one build, like, like, like he can't. And, and even when he was fighting at light heavyweight, he was having a hard time getting up to two hundred five. Yeah, he, he's a one. Like, he was having a very hard time getting to that weight, and I just. I think the only way Izzy fight goes up again is if Pajeda becomes champ at that weight class. I think that's he's the only pro he probably will. He probably will. Jamal Hill's not they vacated the light heavyweight yeah, title. He's again. he's hurt. He's so hurt. I think well, I wonder I'm I wonder. I am curious if Alex Pajeda and Jan Bohovic, that fight at the end of this month will be a title fight or not. 
It probably will be because I, I mean, they haven't th- said yet, but I, I wonder if it'll be a title fight since there's no champ right now in that division. That's true. I mean, Jam- I mean, Jamal, you vacated it. So it's just like, yeah, he had, a, mean, he had an Achilles injury, so he can't, he, he yeah. can't fight for a while. He's going to be done. Do you, for a do you think, um, do you think if apparently they're saying Usman and Kamzat's not going to happen? I, I don't know. I think Kamzat's hurt right now. I just don't think I saw a, I saw a picture on his Instagram and he had his leg wrapped up. So I don't know what's going on with that. I, I think he know. might be injured. Honestly, he's injured. He can't even make that weight. I think he's a he's a middleweight though. He's I, a middleweight. I, I say him. Is he running? I think that would be a great fight, and I think Kamzat could actually make that weight because, like, when you're cutting like. When you're like a natural, like 200 pound guy trying to cut all the way to 170, 170 like that's, that's a lot of weight. That's a hard weight cut. Like, I don't think people understand like uh, how draining it is, especially like when you're cutting weight that quickly and you have to get up every morning and train. Like, you're just draining yourself. Like, you're you, tired. Like, you pretty much have to train with no food in your system. Basically. And, and like, you're sitting in a sauna for like, an hour or two before like you went in like in a sweatsuit too like like i've heard like i've also heard people like spit in bottles too to like lose like that decimal point on their weight it's hard that i mean that's a lot i mean did you hear about Pereira's weight cut like yeah like he 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 lives brutal he lives like he weighs it like he weighs weighs right now like 230 like dude like he and he cut down to 185 yeah that's a really big weight cut like that's like that's easy that's why he's going to be way better at that light heavyweight weight class is because exactly. he can, he's going to be, be big fueled. he's going to be more fueled up he's yeah he'll be, be way bigger. more he won't be drained at all like he'll no, be ready he to go be. like he'll be set no, no. like you could tell when he was fighting izzy that like he wasn't able to reach his full potential at that weight class he still beat him but it was like you could tell like he, his power isn't the same like you'll see but- the difference when he but fights the crazy, Ovich. but the crazy thing is he still had crazy power with being he's got that man. mean left hook and he comes up close to you he'll grab your head and knee you like i mean that's dangerous like he fights with bad intentions yeah perheda perheda is a dangerous guy like he's no joke like we know he can win the belt like we've he's a seen warrior. like we've seen it from him like and that was his i think second ufc fight when he beat izzy because the, the fight yeah. before that, he he knocked out Sean Strickland. That was his first fight in the UFC ever. Yeah. And ever. And Sean Strickland was the number two contender in the middleweight division at that time. Sean Strickland, he's a tough, he's a tough guy. Man. He's tough. Have you seen he's that tough. video where he's um, boxing that boxer and he's like talking all that trash to him? Like, yeah. Like hitting him yeah. with like nasty right hands. I'm just like. Oh yeah, man, this guy's ruthless. Like Sean Strickland, he's crazy. Apparently, he sparred Francis. Yeah, he's nuts, dude. Like, yeah, he's a crazy never guy. spar Francis. Are you kidding me? Like, Francis is huge. Francis will put you to the morgue. Do you know Francis is like 34 years old? He's old. No, I knew that. He was no, I thought Francis was older than that. I thought he was I thought he was a lot younger, honestly. I thought he was really? a lot younger until I looked it up like couple weeks ago i was like wait he's a lot francis. he's a lot older than i thought he was i think he's around um, the same age francis is 36 yeah he's old dude like yeah, he's gonna get his money and get out he's like, getting up there he's getting up there I'm, I'm happy for him though i'm happy because he's making a bag off especially in saudi he's making a bag do you think he'll fight in the pfl after he fights fury he'll have a couple of fights but he's not going crazy like I don't think he'll like go nutty like when it comes to MMA after he boxes. I think he's kind of going to be like, "All right, I've made my money." Like, you know, I. I mean, dude. I mean, if Jake I just Paul think it's like, him. I think it's a disgrace to make nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars as a UFC heavyweight champ. And you're no, 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 no. That's it's crazy. crazy. I mean, that's insane. I can tell you. I can tell you, dude. If dude, it's if so UFC annoying. Fighters, UFC they don't fighters make anything. Are Dude, they're looking at Jake Paul like, oh, this guy, he made he made 30 mil in one year? Yeah, he made a ton. <laughs> he made a <laughs> lot of money. And he's not he fighting bread. like anyone outstanding. He made bread, and he's not fighting. And he's fighting UFC guys. Now, just imagine. And just in like one fight off of the Tommy Fury fight, he made 30 mil. That's off of that fight. It's so, just so like, nuts. 
So France is looking at that like, okay, I'm gonna fight Tyson in uh in probably make how much do you think he would make he'll make off that fight? He's I mean making at least fifty. Yeah, he'll make he'll at least make fifty million. Yeah, and that's if he loses too. Like if exactly, he wins, we're he'll not make way win. more. If exactly, he wins, he'll make so. close to a hundred million probably. Exactly. So I mean, and Ganu, I mean, he's set. I mean, just even like without all of his UFC money, all that, he's gonna be set for life after this fight no he, he'll he be fine like he, he if he if he wants to he will not have to fight ever again he doesn't have to put he doesn't have to put the gloves back on if he doesn't want to no shot yeah no shot so it was just like dana was clowning him for lear in the ufc but at the end of the day francis i mean he's gonna make more of a bag than if he ever i think him. i think that so, made the ufc look bad too because it did it, 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 did. it was like why would you not pay clearly the best guy in the ufc heavyweight division to make Francis Ngannou versus John Jones, which was a must fight. That had to happen. No, it had to happen. Yeah. I think John Jones. I think John Jones mauls him, but it's just just like the attraction to it. Yeah, that's a it's that's a like, big fight. Like that. That's the like instead of Fury and Ngannou being the biggest fight in combat sports, Jones versus Ngannou would have been would have taken like, that spot. That's like you got to put that at MS like MSG just no run. yeah you gotta put that in msg you're you're putting john jones in the ring who is the greatest mixed martial artist we've ever seen like yeah, it's not even close he's he he takes a three-year break and then he submits zero gone in a minute and 30 seconds zero gone, zero gone is no he, he didn't belong in that octagon with him. but zero gone no the only thing that zero can't do is really wrestle like he's a great striker but he can, he can't really do anything else He's yeah no he's a high level kickboxer he's a high level striker but if you get that boy to the ground especially no, John done. Jones level yeah he's uh, done yeah, you're getting messed up you're getting no messed he's up. done St he's, he's fighting done. Stipe next I think that's gonna be an easy fight for John I'm not gonna lie Stipe's old like his last fight yeah. with Francis and Francis just put him into another planet I think John should just retire after this next. He year. wants to retire after this because what? Else, who else is he gonna fight after this? No, who no. Else? Literally, like I said, like the only fight you could make for Izzy and John is if they fought a two of five. But John's not gonna. He's already. I, I, mean, John he's will, I don't think John will make that cut again. No, no, he's never gonna make that cut again. I would I like know. to see him make that cut again, though, but I just don't think it'll happen. It's not going to happen. I mean, it's not something he wants to do. Game. Like he's already done everything humanly possible in that division. I mean, he like look yeah. at that division after he has left. It, like nobody knows joke. anybody. It's been a joke division since John has left. Exactly. So it's just like I mean, plus him and Izzy are boys now. Yeah, they they're, they're friends. Like they don't want to fight unless that's so, a like, unless they have beef somewhere down the line, which I don't see that happening. No, but it's, not gonna happen. it's like. For for Izzy, that fight doesn't make sense. For John, it doesn't make sense. So it's like, yeah, it, there's nothing else to really talk about when you talk about those two guys. So when UFC, let's say, um, I'd say Izzy has a couple more fights left in him. I think John, Izzy, John, I John think has got a lot. Izzy's got yeah. a lot. More. He's got a lot more in the gas tank. I like think he'll be fine. Done, like, who is he gonna fight that's gonna like create an attraction? Like I just don't know. Like, Izzy, I mean, like, if if, if, if he prayer. fights Kamza, that would be a really big fight. That's his last fight. That's the I only say, fight that I see making sense and making money for both guys. Yeah, no, the only two fights that he'll make money off of is Kamza and then Pereira. But like those yeah, are the only. He already two. fought Pereira twice, and the only exactly. reason, and the only reason he would go and fight Pereira is if he's got the light heavyweight belt. So I, I don't see it really making sense for any of those guys. But exactly, I, I just don't see, know. The UFC, they, they need a superstar bad, I think. They have superstars. Like, I think no. Izzy's definitely the biggest star they have. And John. No, 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 no. Like, Izzy is, but Izzy, how many fights does he have left? And they still got Connor, too. Like, they still got Connor. Oh, nah, Connor's not fighting. He's not fighting. He will. He will. He he's will. not about that life. He'll fight. He'll fight. I, I think he's going to fight um at the end of this oh. year against Chandler. I, he'll fight. He'll fight. I, I think. I think it's just getting really. It, it's been really confusing because of the USADA drug testing poll that they have, and Connor hasn't been tested yet. So I think that's why it's still up in the air because Dana's and Dana is like, 
he he really helps out Connor a lot. Like, oh yeah, no, he like loves when it comes to like kind of navigating the rules, like Connor he, gets away with so much. Like he clearly, knows how to bend the rules yeah, he's juiced Connor. on something. He knows how to bend the rules for Connor. He knows how to do it. Like it, it's so annoying. Like how, like why would you take out a guy who's supposed to make his UFC return out of the USADA pool for 2023? Why would you put him aside? Only the only guy who's not in the pool to get tested, and everyone knows about a pool is it's literally the hardest drug testing policy in sports. So if you on anything, we're gonna know about it, and we can obviously see Connor is jacked up. He is huge now. (laughs) He weighs like two hundred pounds. Connor is ridiculous. And Connor started as a one forty five fighter. Exactly. So Connor. So the thing with thing with Dana and Connor. Connor is. I mean. He is, let's be honest, he's the guy that he's the money fight. He's the money guy. I mean, he made like he's the, the he's the guy you put on the you put on the card and is like slap his name on it. All right. Somebody there's fight. been there's been no other UFC fighter that's got as as much pl- uh p- publicity. He's a and... draw. He's a he, he's the biggest draw ever. Like without Connor, the sport isn't where it is now. Not would even you close. say would you say Conor McGregor is the same level as draw of um, as a Mike Tyson? I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to go that far. But if you're talking different sports, if you're talking, talking for he, MMA, just for MMA, then yes. But if you're combining the two, I think Tyson. No, is no, 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 no. I'm not combining the two. I'm just saying, like, we're talking about combat sports here. We're talking about just MMA. Yes, God, I'm talking about combat sports. Period. I don't know. I don't, I wouldn't go that far. You wouldn't go that far. No, I wouldn't go Got that it? far. Would you? Really? It's like it's like me asking you this. Would you rather see Mike Tyson fight or McGregor fight? Well, obviously, who are you picking there? If we're talking about peaks, like them, like just like in general. Other, I mean, yeah, Tyson, obviously. Exactly. That, that's that's. But if you're talking, but I'm saying I'm saying Connor's yes. second. I'm saying Connor's second. I I can agree with you on that because. When he was at his peak, he everybody had tuned peaks. Into it. He had one of the best peaks in combat sports history. Double I, champion. I, knock, he knocked out Jose Aldo in, 30, <laughs> in 13 seconds. seconds. 13. No, nah, I think uh, not my dad said, because, I mean, he grew up in the Tyson era. My dad was like, I haven't seen another guy draw as much as Tyson. Like, like Connor's the only guy to draw, like, close to that. Like, like Connor made people MMA fans. Guy. Like people that were never like me. I, I don't even. I didn't even watch MMA back in high school. I'm like, oh, I got to tune in the Connor fight because I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Yeah, I, like the first fight I watched MMA was McGregor fighting. Yeah, like it was a McGregor fight. Like a, everyone watched McGregor, and the reason for that is because of his trash talking. That's trash talking. Obviously, he, the reason. Like it, he has an exciting. He has an exciting style. Like his personality is just out he, there. Like he does not just, care what anyone thinks. Like the mental all. fortitude with Conor McGregor is crazy. Like the mental games he <laughs> playing with these guys. Like, like it's crazy. I mean, it's crazy. Like he gets in these guys' heads before they even like step foot in the octagon. Like, like, like he got into Khabib's head, but Khabib was just so high level he just messed. Yeah, Khabib. Nah, nah, Khabib <laughs> broke him, dude. Khabib, <laughs> Connor hasn't been wrestle. the same since. Let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. Nah. Let's wrestle. Six October. Nah. Let's wrestle. Nah, let's like, no, no, you're not. You're not wrestling Khabib. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Like, Khabib's just gonna do that little leg sweep that he does and put your legs in between him, and he's just gonna put Jesus. your legs over your shoulders and your head, and he's just gonna punch you. Like, that's and, all yeah. he did to him. You're just that's gonna look stupid did. against Khabib. You're just gonna look stupid against. Khabib. What's your take on Islam? Who who do, who do you think Islam should fight next? Because Oliveira won his last fight, and Volkanovski was wrestling like crazy in his last fight, and he knocked. I want I want, I want, Vol- I want Volk to run it back. I want that fight first, but I would like Oliveira to get a chance after that. Yeah, I'd like one more time to get a chance, but I'd say Volk. I want I want Volk to run that back. I think Volk, like the last two rounds of that fight, won. But like people said, like yeah, like he, like Islam lost or whatever. But like, I, I disagree with that. Like I, I, I think mm. Islam did better than people 
like really thought because when you're watching the fights live like you have a different perspective and then when you go rewatch it again yeah. it's different like it, it i don't know why that is like it's so weird i feel like that's the only sport that's like that where you watch it live and then you watch it again afterwards and you have a completely different take on it yeah you actually have to like watch the fight like you really have to watch the fight like, like you, you gotta to look at like back. what they did like specifically to like like islam like had volkanovsky on the ground but it's like bulk was like hitting him with those back fists like he had him down but it was like not really it wasn't like a it wasn't a big deal because he wasn't doing damage yeah no i don't even know how how do they really even score the ufc because i heard like they go off first of like damage. time time control like like so the amount of time you have control on the ground like they gauge that a lot striking is important as well like obviously like that striking and kicking is where you get the points yeah. for the most part. But it's like weird though. Like when it comes to jujitsu, I feel like they don't know how to score jujitsu. To be honest, they, they score it the same as they would with wrestling control. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. It's different. Like if you got somebody in a, in an arm bar and like, he's not tapping and then he escapes. Like, I feel like you should get a little bit of credit for that. Like, the, yeah. I feel like it's just when that happens, like it's completely dismissed. Like, I don't know. Yeah. They need to change it a little bit. It's, I mean, the scoring is, weird. it's that 10, nine, 10, eight, 10, seven stuff like that. It's not boxing. It's M it's MMA. No, like even for, even for boxing fights, sometimes like a round can be so tough. I don't even know how to score it. I'm like, ah. Ah. but like, no, for UFC, I really like, I feel like striking is definitely more like important. Yeah, it is for sport. Like they definitely like like weigh it more. Like yeah, no, they do. Good. No, I mean they weigh damage more. Like if you're looking bad out there, then like they're obviously gonna get that against you. So like yeah, no, UFC like striking. If you're piecing somebody up, they're gonna score that all day. Yeah, I just I just don't know how you properly score stuff like that. Like it, especially yeah. if there's so much yeah. going on and. MMA like it's not just you standing up and punching like there's a yeah, lot exactly. going on like it's I mean there's, especially with two high level guys just going back and forth like how do you really score that I uh, yeah like, I it's mean it's tough I mean there's ways you like can effectively do it but it it's it's hard because that's and I feel like MMA judges they have the hardest job like it, it's yeah. like not like boxing judges I mean it's hard to do it but like it's easier to score a boxing fight than it is an MMA fight. Oh yeah, one thousand. Because MMA, there's so many other stuff you have to bring into it. I, I they they need to change it. And I, I'm not sure like what format they could do it, but they need to have like a point system for every aspect, like jujitsu, like wrestling, like not just for like primarily striking. Like I, I don't know. I just think a change needs to be made with that. Because it can't be similar to boxing. I mean, come on, you can't score a yeah. round. No, no, like, no, you can't. You can't do that. It's too close. Like, and usually, like a ten-seven round, that's not a close round. A ten, no, a ten-seven round. That's a blowout round. That's not a close round. Ten-seven. That's a blowout. That's not a <laughs> that's close like, round at all. Like, and no. but the guy can still recover from that. If yeah, you no, you can still recover from it. Like, like if he's like, got a, if he's got like five, if he's got like, let's say boxing, like you get. Guy gets seven points first round, and then he has four rounds in a row where he's got ten, and the other guy's got like eight or nine. Like he's gonna be up on top. Like you can you can yeah. mess up. It's more room for error. Yeah, yeah, true. It's weird though. I, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a weird one. I, they need to like do some about it. It's it's a bit. It's techy. It's techy. It's like I don't know. I, I'm just upset that. I, I like how boxing is coming back to the combat sports world, but it's like, I mean, the UFC is clearly better. It's clearly better, yeah, right? Yeah, no, no, 1,000. I mean, my dad, I mean, he he grew up on the days where it was like, it's crazy to think, like, it's crazy to think from his perspective. He grew up on the days when being world heavyweight champ was like, the that was a big deal. Yeah, you know, like, you're, like, you're him. You're him. Like across the world, but it's but it's gotten to the point where it's now like if you're the champ, like there are so many champs, it doesn't really mean anything. 
that's just crazy to think about. Like that, like my dad, like he showed me pictures of like Mike Tyson hanging out with like Pele when Mike Tyson was the was the heavyweight champ of the world. And it's like, wow, that's that's crazy. And like like Muhammad Ali, like George Foreman, Sonny listed. When you're the champ, you're like him. You're the champ. But now if you're like heavyweight champ, then or if you're just a champ, period. Well, there's like, another WBA champ. Exactly. There's another champ. When did that when did that start? Like they had those like de- um, different like belts like that. Because that has started, been a thing. It started definitely, I would say the nineties. Um, it was it started past um Tyson's prime. It started that's when it why really started. why what why was the reason for it though? Like what was the reason? I don't know. You know, promoters want to make a lot of money off so it's a promo- so it all comes down to promoters. Yeah, with- no, promoters messed up boxing. What yeah. why did- they got greedy is that I guess that's kind of the best way to sum it up. I mean, yeah, I mean the the first one I mean, the one to really kick started off was Don King. Don King saw Mike Tyson as an easy money grab. He made he made a bag, and then um, he made bag off of uh, off of Tyson. He made a bag off of you know um he was in the Rocky movies. Um, Tommy Morrison. Tommy Morrison. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Tommy Morrison. He made, a, he made a bag off of him. He made a bag off of Tyson. Tommy Morrison. All those guys. So then it just like diminished like the heavyweight class after he got involved. And now like guys like um and now like after Tyson then, then there were guys like Klitschko and guys like that, but they weren't Klitschko was... wasn't like he wasn't like a flashy guy. Like he was kind of no, a Oh no, fighter. he was a great boxer, obviously, but nobody cared about Klitschko. No one cared about Klitschko like no that. No one cared about him. So then I mean the last real heavyweight that people cared about was Mike Tyson. Was Mike Tyson, uh Holyfield. Yeah, like Holyfield. that whole era in general. Like I think like do you think and, and then I know Lennox back Lewis, to that? Lennox Lewis. Um do wait, wait, do I think boxing could get back to that? Yeah, do you think you can get back to that kind of competitive? Not, not, not the heavyweights. I not in the heavyweights. It'll have to be like the smaller guys that do it. Yeah, I mean guys like Ryan and Tank that are fighting, that's great for boxing. Guys like um Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, middleweights, great, phenomenal for boxing. Guys like Canelo and uh and um well, I, I, Benavidez, dude, that needs to happen. Oh, no, oh, no. Canelo, that needs to happen. That. You, you don't want that smoke. No, Why? That smoke. Nah, Canelo, nah, Canelo, you don't want Can, that. Canelo beat Caleb Plant, and Benavidez beat Caleb Plant in his last fight. I think it'd be but, there's, but there's a difference. Caleb Plant put up a good fight against Canelo to the end. Benavidez was just piecing him up. Benavidez just pieced Caleb Plant. I mean, the, but what's the point of Canelo but, fighting if he's going to sign a three fight deal to fight guys that no one even knows? It's no, so no, no, no. He's fighting Charlo. He's fighting Charlo. Charlo, but uh, but, does, nah, but, nah, nah, nah. but is Charlo, that a big draw? Is, is Charlo, Charlo a big draw? Yes, uh, yes, one thousand. I, I knew Charlo. Bef- I I thought of Charlo before I even knew he boxed. Why is Canelo being scared? Go fight Dimitri Bival again, who pieced you up. Yeah, the ball messed him up. Like everybody knows he doesn't want that either. Because I mean, when when you go up so much in weight, I mean it gets That's the to a problem point. in boxing too. There's so many weight classes. So many weight so classes. So many. I get lost. What do you have like a super middleweight and then like a middleweight? Like I like what's the need for a super middleweight? I just get lost in all the weight classes. I, there's too like, many. You can't keep up. Like it got it got to a point where I was seeing Canelo's fighting um Usyk. I was like, what? Wait, they're not even <laughs> wait, what? What are you talking about? What I was yeah, how class? is that even possible? Like I'm like, Canelo's gonna go up to two oh five. Canelo's gonna no. go up to two oh five. Imagine that. No. What are we doing? No, no we're like, just ru- you're just ruining the sport. Like and, and, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but like back when like Ali was fighting, there weren't this many weight classes. No, no, no. If you were champ, you were champ. That's like there it. weren't there weren't like a thousand weight classes and a thousand champs. Like no, 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 no. There was just one belt for each weight class. 
But how many yeah, weight classes were back there then. back then? Like there was heavyweight. Keeping it simple. There was heavyweight. There was middleweight. There were lightweights. But it was just all one weight class, and you always fought the best guy. Like the last, like I remember the eighties. Like my favorite, um, my favorite like boxing, um, weight class to look is like the middleweights with all um uh, like Tommy Hearns, Roberto Duran, um, Sugar Ray, all those guys. Yeah, Sugar Ray. And, and they just fought. They literally just fought to see who was the best. And it's, the like, yeah. like heavyweights. About that like, now. Nah, heavyweights aren't about that life now. I mean, Tyson Fury's fighting Francis to make a bag, and he knows he's gonna win. Yeah, because it's boxing. Like, uh, if you put like Tyson in the octagon, like it, it'd be the same way. Oh, Francis it's gonna be a, gonna win. Oh, it'd be an ugly scene to put Tyson Fury in the octagon. Oh man, like, and you know it's crazy. Like, <laughs> you remember when all this stuff was going nice. on with uh, Tyson and uh, John Jones, where John Jones was like, I think Joe Rogan said this. Joe Rogan was like, yeah. Um, if you put Tyson Fury and um, John Jones in like a room together, locked them in there, Jones is gonna who's coming you. out of there? I, and He's gonna Joe kill said you. John Jones would, obviously. Like John Jones is going to murder you. Yeah, unless He's Fury wins that one punch. That's the only chance he has, though. He's got to get that one punch. And Fury doesn't even have one punch knock, like knockout No, he, he doesn't have knockout power. Like When he fought Wilder, like we all know Wilder had the knockout power over fury yeah i mean fury has power don't get me wrong but he doesn't have one punch knockout power no 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 uh, it's it's a different story when you got that's the thing like that's why it'll be interesting with francis because he does have that but if francis can not if if he can land that one punch, dude that's gonna be crazy that's gonna be a good fight though it's gonna be a good fight man boxing and uh just mma in general like it's just it's we got it. We got ourselves a year for sure. With it's with gonna Mike. be a good year. We got um. What about got, Leon versus Covington? Is that that fight's not is official? That gonna, is, is that gonna happen? I feel like it should. I feel like they've been. Talking Dana about, wants to make it, but they've been talking about um. Who's the guy? Bilal Muhammad against. Oh Kobe. no! Why? <laughs> they they've been Why? talking about that. They've been talking about that. I mean, he did just beat Gilbert Burns, but... Well, like, there's nothing exciting about him. Like, no, I, just I mean, no. Nah, you know what's crazy? Like, I think, like, not even a couple months ago, I think he was on the prelims. And then he beat Gilbert Burns, and now he's, like, getting all this praise all of a sudden. Yeah, because, like, he, like to me, I, I, I don't want to see Bilal Mahat. Like, okay, let's be honest. I think Covington would mess this world up. But I it's like, why would Covington – That why would Covington – what's the point of having that? Like, Covington – I don't even think Covington would entertain that fight. I think it would just go to Dan and be like, why would we make that? Yeah, Covington wants a title shot. Covington if, – and if it's not a title shot, he just wants a big-name fight. <laughs> you know what would be crazy? Covington and McGregor. Doc, Covington wants to make that happen. I at bet he does. I don't think Connor wants that. <laughs> Connor, he's no, fighting a wrestler. Because, you know how Connor is with guys who can actually get him on the ground. Yeah, Covington would mess his world up. I, it's just impressive. it's just been so long too. Like I I I, I, I don't know. Like it, it's just that doesn't make sense. Yeah, like, I, I mean, Connor I will mean, ever be a championship fighter ever again? I don't know. Yeah, I mean the thing with uh, with Covington though, I don't think it would. Like, it would sell, but it wouldn't sell that much because Covington, he's already, like, gave up to the fact that, oh, I'm just doing just – I'm just doing this to, like, stay in the UFC. Like, I'm just talking just to stay in the UFC. Yes, Connor's like an actual he, – he, he talks. Yeah, he actually he talks. talks. Like, Covington is like – Covington wasn't always like that. Like, he kind of had to change. Like, he kind of had to, like, switch, like, roles a little bit because he wanted to be the good guy and then – no one was really like watching his fights, so like he yeah, had no, I he literally trash. no, 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 like literally he was gonna get kicked out of the UFC if he didn't start talking. <laughs> like I mean, I mean, he, I mean, he's he said it himself. Like he had he was gonna get kicked out of the UFC if he didn't start talking. So then he had so like Covington, he had to be forced into talking stuff. And even when you look at him when he's talking stuff, it's just like 
Uh, but when the but then when Connor, if you go in there with an actual guy that talks, Connor, he's gonna mess with a press conference. I still I still would want to. It, it'd be funny. It'd be a funny press conference. I think <laughs> it'd be hilarious, man. I I, I want to see that. There, there's there's a lot of fights I would want to see, but I mean, the only a time will tell with this stuff. A lot of fights to be made. A lot of fights to be. Made. Is there anything else you want to say before I close out the pod? Boxing, it's in a, it's in a, it's in a better space than it's been before. I'd say that. Yeah, it, it, it yeah, because I, I when it was like Mayweather, like I feel like it was literally just him. <laughs> May, I mean Mayweather was fighting guys like Andre Berto. Like, I, like what? Like, who's yeah, <laughs> <laughs> when he was like really, really old too. Yeah, like I'm like okay, all right. So boxing is a, it's in a good space now. We got Charlo Canelo. I got Charlo over Canelo at that point. Oh, Charlo Canelo's just old, man. Nah, he's not even old. I just he's not hungry. Mar Usman wanted to fight Canelo. No, 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 no. I have a whole thing about this. I have a whole thing about this. I think Usman. He wanted he wanted to fight Jake Paul. He was like, yeah, no, like Jake Paul will give me money to. I mean, I'll piece him up. But this is before like they realized that Jake Paul was like actually like decent Good. compared to them. So then when Jake, so then this was before the Woodley two fight. He was like, oh yeah, yeah, give me yeah, give me like all this money to fight Jake Paul and I'll piece him up. Jake Paul knocked out Woodley. Usman was like. And then Jake Paul beat Anderson Silva. I have never heard Usman talk about Canelo or Jake Paul after he beat. <laughs> I know, like I, I just haven't heard it. I just haven't heard it. And that, I think Usman realized he's like, oh, this is like two different sports. Is it realistic for Jake Paul to fight Canelo? Because I know Jake Paul has fought Canelo before, but or talked about fighting Canelo before. But is that still in the cards? You don't think that'll fight? Will ever happen if he got beat by Tom Fury? I, I don't want to hear about Canelo. I don't want to hear about <laughs> Canelo. I mean, Canelo would knock him out for fun, for fun. <laughs> so I mean, I don't want to hear that. I mean, Jake, can he get to a level to where he could fight Canelo? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, he could get to a level to where he could fight Canelo. Does that mean he's not gonna next? Is- I, not, I mean, he's going to get knocked out. But, I mean, let's say Canelo takes it. But Jake likes seat. fighting these old guys, so maybe he'd have a chance. He loves these old guys. If he Canelo hits 40, I mean, when he hits 40-something, Jake will probably call him out again. All right, All well, right, this has been fun. I, I appreciate you uh, hopping on the podcast. This is Nick Victor. Um, thanks for having me. UFC Boxing Talk number four. I appreciate you uh, hopping on the podcast. This is this was really fun. Um, I'm your host Jackson Burleson. You guys have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, thanks for having me, bro. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, nice. I'm from another world, baby. Yeah, right away paradise. They think I'm way too cold, cause I put my heart up on ice.